What's up, y'all? It's Calvin here, and I want to holler at you guys about an alternative cooking method that could allow you and your family to be a lot more stealthier as well as mobile during a crisis situation, and that would be thermal cookers. And uh, the thing with thermal cookers is that with certain recipes, you can simply bring your food to a boil and then take your pot, sit it inside the pot thermos, seal it up, and walk away, and it would operate the same way as a crock pot. And... Um, the same way that you can sit it on your kitchen counter, you could also sit it on, on your uh, back seat and head to greener pastures while you're cooking your food. You know what I'm saying? And this can also be achieved with a Wonder Bag, all right, which is a thermal bag that you can put any non-electric pot in, a uh, Dutch oven or something like that, preferably something that has a uh, lid on it. And um, it's basically the same principle. Follow the recipe and then pop it inside the bag and walk away and four or five hours later, you're gonna have some food. So uh, this is a very durable solution-based practice that people can use. And uh, uh, another thing about thermal cookers is that you can use any fire source with these from alcohol to wood. So uh, you can do it, you know, fireplace, campfire, alcohol stove. And uh, mentioning alcohol stove, I recently did an experiment on my alcohol stove in my house because for those of you who don't know, alcohol burns a little cleaner than other things, but I ended up setting off my smoke alarm. So I wouldn't recommend anybody doing it inside unless you have, you know, a lot of windows and you're well ventilated because it didn't generate smoke at all, you know what I'm saying? But yet it still set off my uh, smoke alarm. So... Anybody out there that likes to do experiments and things of that nature, you, uh, you might want to be careful with the alcohol stove doing it inside. Ugh. But uh, at any rate, what I found out from doing my experiment before I set the fire alarms off is I was trying to see how fast water would boil in a cast iron skillet that I have, which holds about three quarts of water. I put about two and a half quarts of water in it, and it took me about six minutes to boil it. And, and this thing is about a quarter inch thick. thick at least and it took six minutes so with a, a lot of these uh thermal pots that have actually gonna touch the fire they're not that thick so from my estimation it would take you less than six minutes to bring your food to a boil and this would save you time from being out barbecuing in front of a whole bunch of people because like if if the the power goes out like the first couple of days you might see a lot of people out but like once it gets into like weeks and things of that nature um like cooking could become a blood sport, you know what I'm saying? Like folks are gonna be looking, you know what I'm saying, for a sweet lick. And so uh, these are the type of things that you need to keep in mind at the onset before it gets bad. And this is a solution, uh, particularly for those of you who have fireplaces, like man, you can really, really disguise what you're doing because of the short time period, you're not gonna put off a whole bunch of smell. And then with your chimney, it diverts smell from your house so it's like a double protection so uh just wanted to bring these out and i hope that this resonates with you guys and gives you food for thought about the shortages and things that we're dealing with this is the pyros